Hello lovely people. Today we are going to look at eight simple ways to empower your teams. So last week I was attending a webinar on boosting our agents morale the right way and uh, what came out was empowerment. So what is empowerment? Exercising authority, freedom to take decisions, act on our own. Can you empower someone partially? 20% or 30%? I guess not. Either we can empower someone or we can't. I'm going to list down eight simple tips that we can do on a daily basis which will help our teams empower, feel empowered and they would feel part of the action. So you as a lead, as a manager, have an idea, have a problem that you want to solve. Well, you have a great brain on your head and you can solve the problem really well. But it's really amazing if you go back and talk to your team and ask for their ideas or their inputs. In, in order to solve the problem, seek suggestions from your team. Just tell them what you want to solve and ask them how they would solve it. How they would go, go, go about fixing that problem or initiating that project. Two, you might want to give some time to your team and then ask them to generate some ideas which would help their team in improving the performance. And uh, to your surprise, your team would come up with some really creative ideas which will surely help the team to meet some of the criterias or some of the performance KPIs. Three, reinforce positive feedback. Only you can reinforce being the lead or the manager of the team. You yourself have to exercise this habit of always giving positive feedback. When I say positive feedback, actionable feedbacks. There are a lot of times when we managers kind of resort to anger or we resort to rant, if I may. When we find some engineers, some of the team members not performing or not doing the things that they were supposed to, we get angry at them and we talk to them and then we just kind of keep telling them what is the problem. A positive feedback is where you explain them the problem and then you move on to share and suggest your ideas how to solve them and then support them during the phase of when they're trying to solve that problem. Number four, find and develop leaders. Whatever the number of engineers you have in your team, you will obviously have few who will outshine, few that you can figure out as leaders and let them drive an idea to solve a certain problem. Help them make that idea come to life. Five, stretch each of your team members capability. What I mean by that, you need to push them in a positive way, you need to groom them in a positive way that they not only meet the team goals, but they also develop themselves for their career goals. Sixth, mentor your team. Out of everyone, the team looks up to you the most. And you have certain skills that you carry with yourself. Develop those within your team. So always remember to mentor, to coach your team. Seven, encourage open communication. You yourself practice open communication and applaud anyone who follows it. If open communication is of super importance. There shouldn't be anything hiding. Eight, demonstrate that you trust your team. If your team knows that their manager, their lead, trusts them, a huge weight is lifted off their back. They would feel much more lighter and they would be more happy and they feel much comfortable working for you 
than anyone else. So while I encourage everyone to follow these eight simple tips and to extend the point number eight, I would say never judge your team member or your team when they face any kind of failure. Never use statements such as, I knew it. You never listened to. Never use such statements, but always be there when they face any kind of failure or roadblocks or whatever. Help them steer out of that situation. Show them how it's done. After all, you are the lead. Make them understand that there's nothing such as failure. Just like Nelson Mandela said, he never fails. He always succeeds or he learns. Let's meet next week. See you now. Thanks for watching Free Stuff. Thanks for joining the bandwagon. I hope I keep you engaged with my videos and so for all other subscribers. Keep watching Free Stuff and encourage me by sharing it, liking it and getting more people to come over. Bye-bye.